Ambassador Abdali. The podium is yours. A very good evening. Honorable President of NDU, Honorable Chancellor Dr. Michael Bill, Honorable Commandant Brigadier General Harford, Dr. Jack Gowden, distinguished faculty, distinguished participants, dear alumni, friends, ladies, and gentlemen. First of all, I'm extremely delighted to be back on campus and to see the distinguished faculty of NDU, friends, and I'm foremost honored by the selection to be added in the NDU's International Hall of Fame. I'm profoundly humbled and touched by this recognition and truly hope to deserve it because I know that NDU expects the best from its alumni in serving their respective nations, as well as making a positive global impact. Indeed, I owe this recognition to the hard work of my faculty. I only see two, Dr. Skies and Dr. Marx, from whose many lectures, class discussions, research projects, as well as invited guest speakers, I learned a great deal. I'm also grateful to the leadership of this university for promoting diversity in the student body in order to further enrich the, the induced already quality education. During my time at NDU, as much as I learned every day in and out of the classroom, I tried to give back as much as I could. In many interactions, on and off campus, I shared with others my experiences, both as an ordinary Afghan and as someone who closely observed how we and our international partners work together to address the multiple needs of a complex post-conflict environment like Afghanistan. I have found each of my academic conversations enriching, encouraging, and stimulating which only pushed me to do more to make the best of my time at NDU. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a networked world that is fast shrinking with many opportunities and challenges at the same time. From an international security perspective, Afghanistan's own experience is instructive. Just less than two weeks ago, we commemorated the tragedy of 9-11, which directly resulted from the negligence of Afghanistan's post-Cold War stabilization and reconstruction. The tragic event demonstrated that the security and prosperity of every nation is linked to those of their immediate neighbors and others beyond. In other words, security is a globalized issue necessitating the institutions of higher learning, such as NDU, to build, strengthen, and maintain a network of its alumni, and to engage them in various ways that can help address the key global challenges. Knowing that Afghanistan's neighborhood still remains the epicenter of terrorism and radicalism, I'm delighted that the Near East and South Asia Center at NDU promotes research on the causes of instability in Afghanistan and hosts our co-hosts conferences and seminars to discuss how the security challenges of South Asia could be addressed. I have participated in several of these NDU conferences and I'm grateful to the university for keeping our alumni engaged allowing them to draw on their relevant NDU education and experiences to make appropriate contributions. Ladies and gentlemen, I've had, I've had the honor of serving my country over the last 
fevers in various capacities. I acknowledge with gratitude that the education I gained at NDU has enabled me to help Afghanistan in my little capacity in partnership with the United States in ways that I could have hardly done without India's education. Being with you today is a result of NDU's dedication to, to empowering and educating future leaders who work to formulate and implement policies that foster peace, security, and prosperity throughout the world. Once again, my sincere thanks go to the visionary, leadership, and devoted faculty of the National Defense University for honoring and recognizing me today. This is yet another lifetime memory that I'll take away as a reminder to do even more for making our world a safer and better place for all. In the months and years ahead, I look forward to staying in touch and remaining academically engaged with the university. Thank you very much. Thank you.